de the journey towards digital transformation is multifaceted. Today, during the BTC Cloud Talks, we are bringing a number of experts that are going to be having conversation around the Data Protection Act. Not so long ago, we never had any issues in relation to digital data. Our data was stored in closets, if not records management rooms. But in the digital space, one of the key things that we need to worry about is the safety of the data, where it is stored, and most recently, the government of Botswana has brought into effect the Data Protection Act. Today, the experts are going to be unpacking uh, what the Data Protection Act means, uh, since it is on its transformational year towards, in, towards making sure that it is live. My name is Mutsidisi Kenneth Sitimela. I will be your host for today. Digital transformation is a very important uh, part of government's mandate for uh, the delivery of digital services to the people of Botswana, but most importantly, to make life a lot easier. We have seen uh, growth of implementation of the infrastructure. We have seen growth of the implementation of the skills in Botswana. But as part of this, there is always an important part of ensuring that there is an enabling uh, legislature to allow for players to come to Botswana and to allow those that are already in Botswana to be able to thrive in this particular industry. At the core of ICT, it's always about the people, it's always about the processes, and most importantly, the technology. But today, our focus is on ensuring safety of the people, the data that is collected from them, and that is stored, and we will most certainly be making sure that uh, today we will be imparting the necessary knowledge about uh, this piece of legislature, what it means. But before getting into the gist of the conversation, please uh, let me thank uh, Botswana Telecommunication uh, Corporation for coming up with this very important initiative. And most importantly, let me uh, bring, uh, bring on board uh, our champion Chief Operating Officer, Resivako, to give us our opening remarks. Uh, Resivako, please. Thank you, uh, Re Stimela. Um, Director of Ceremony, um, Deputy Permanent Secretary, ICT, Minister of Transport and Communications, Re Cecil Masira. Um, leaders here present from the industry, uh, Ms. Otilia Piri, a, a rep representative from Microsoft. Um, respective government officials here present today, and the BTC staff who are here today, and our friends who are online, members of the media here present, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me take this time to greet you uh, this morning. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to the BTC Cloud Talks, which is themed the importance of data protection in the digital world. Director of Ceremony um, and distinguished guests here present, you might recall that uh, last year, on the 8th and the 9th of July, BTC successfully hosted the first ever digital summit in Botswana, where we showcased our digital capabilities and readiness to support the country in the digital transformation aspirations that it has. We brought together industry experts and leaders and some of our partners across the world where we discussed various topics, including connectivity, 5G, cloud, fintech and blockchain, internet of things, data analytics, and artificial intelligence as key drivers for digital transformation in the fourth industrial revolution. 
Director of Ceremony, uh, today we are gathered here to discuss and share ideas on cloud and the importance of data protection. Another key subject that is crucial in our times as countries and as enterprises are in the race to pursue digital transformation initi initiatives to remain relevant and resilient into the future while respecting the laws of the countries where they operate, especially laws such as data protection or protection of personal data. As more and more social and economic activities have place online, the importance of privacy and data protection is increasingly recognized. Of equal concern is the collection, use, and sharing of personal information to third parties without notice or consent of consumers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is public knowledge that your personal data or your individual data as a citizen is your gold that if left unprotected and it lands in the hands of a third party, the data may be exploited to their advantage and possibly to, at your expense or to your detriment. Unauthorized access to personal data can lead to the data being deleted or destroyed or the data may be modified or sold to other parties as personal data has become the new gold in the fourth industrial revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, securing your data can be done by applying simple methods such as physically protect your laptop or your gadget, which is your personal data, or use adequate access control measures such as passwords or encryption or more sophisticated means if the data is stored in the cloud. Today, our talks will be based on restoring data, on, on storing data on the cloud and the recently passed Data Protection Act of 2018. As BTC, we will also demonstrate competencies and capabilities that we have built over the years in this area of cloud computing and how we can partner to ensure security of your data, both personal and institutional data, in today's fast-paced digital age. Director of Ceremony, it is worth noting that uh, the recent enactment of the Data Protection Act of 2018 and the institutionalization thereof, together with the implementation of the cybersecurity strategy, will go a long way in ensuring that as a country and enterprises that are operating within Botswana, we have confidence that our businesses and customer data is safe and secure from exploitation for gain or abuse by third parties through unauthorized access. Director of Ceremony, security of data cannot be assured if our sensitive data remains hosted outside the borders of this country as we may not have control nor understand the constraints inherent within the legal jurisdiction where our data is hosted. Director of Ceremony, it is by this backdrop that BTC invested in cloud solutions to facilitate our customers who have, got, who have sensitive data that needs to be kept within the country. The BTC cloud infrastructure is elastic from storage and processing capacity and it is currently used by several clients, both private and public sector. Ladies and gentlemen, today, Botswana companies and institutions that require elastic cloud computing, computing capacity do not need to, be, to go to hyperscalers outside the country. As our center hard data center facility, which is located in country, is ready to offer cloud services in an environment that has multi-layered security and that satisfies the requirement for data sovereignty per the dictates of the Botswana Data Protection Act of 2018. The Sintra Data Center has secure cloud services environment where sensitive data is kept and protected. Through this facility, your customers can safely enjoy access to the internet and access to their data, and knowing that their data is safe within the country and is hosted in a facility that has robust security 
and complies to global standards. Director of Ceremony, the COVID-19 has escalated the rise and use of the internet. And therefore, cloud storage and cloud computing to facilitate businesses is a key imperative and a need uh, to support our operations uh, moving forward. This has brought concerns around data protection, cybersecurity, data integrity, and personal privacy. As the world moves further into the digital space, economies are forced to accelerate their digital transformation agendas. This has heightened the need for countries and enterprises to protect sensitive data, both personal and institutional data, from unauthorized access, manipulation, and exploitation by entities which have ulterior motives. It is for this reason that all entities that hold sensitive data in Botswana need to ensure safe and secure storage of sensitive or personal data and respect the privacy of individual personal information. Director of Ceremony, just recently BTC was recognized by Fortinet, uh, which is a leading global security solutions provider for a sterling performance in offering security solutions. We received three uh, prestigious awards at the Africa Virtual uh, Summit. Uh, and these categories where we received these awards were being the best growth of the year 2020, as well as managed security service provider partner of the year, as well as being the most certified partner of the year 2020 within the SADC region. Ladies and gentlemen, these accolades attest to the capabilities and the competencies that we have built to become leaders in information security, not only in Botswana, but in the region. We are extremely proud of these recognitions and we commit to offer cloud solutions to Botswana and Botswana-based enterprises as the demand for connectivity has risen to the challenges brought up by COVID-19 pandemic. As you deliberate today during Cloud Talks, let me assure you of BTC's unreserved commitment to support and enable the country and all enterprises that operate in Botswana and supporting the government uh, that we are ready to be your trusted partner to facilitate your transition into digital, the digitally transformed trans enterprises while protecting your valuable and sensitive data or the data for your customers. Let, let me thank you. Let me thank you all for continued support that you have extended to us as BTC as we work together in co-creating our own Botswana cloud. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. And thank you very much for your attendance and your participation today. Let me once again officially welcome this event to this event, the 2022 Cloud BTC Cloud Talks. Please enjoy as you deliberate today in the discussions. Kya le boha, apula elinele.